Hey kids, today I'm reading Night of the Pumpkin Heads, written by Michael Rosen, Pumpkin Carvings by Hugh McMahon. Year after year, the pumpkin heads have sat on the porch while kids had all the trick-or-treating fun. But this year, it's trick-or-treat mayhem as the pumpkin heads magnificently transform into dangerous dinosaurs, a fearsome Frankenstein's creature, and worst of all, the slime. Hold on to your candy. The pumpkin heads are hitting the town. Night of the Pumpkin Heads. One muggy October, a patch of pumpkins grew plump and restless. We've sat here for weeks with nothing to do, complained Jackpot, head of the Union of Pumpkinheads. Yeah, and soon we'll be plunked on some porch with a stupid grin on our faces, added Jackie O. For once, why can't we dress up and go out? Those kids think their costumes are so spooky, Jackpot mocked. Instantly, ideas of creepy, chilling costumes filled the air above the patch like the fireflies. Oh, I got it. I'll be a cootie. Kids hate cooties. No, wait. I'll be a cat. A mean one. The scaredy cat. I'll go as a saber-toothed tiger. Or a cobra, shouted Jackie O. Okay, Jackpot shouted. Let's have a contest for the scariest pumpkin head. Whoever really spooks the kids will be crowned head of our own holiday, jack o -ween. The patch of jacks cheered. Start dreaming up your ideas, said Jackpot. I'll be the judge. The colossal jacks figured it was only natural to go as the Earth's first giants. What's scarier than prehistoric beasts scarfing down people like animal crackers? Laughed Jack, to Jack of Spades. I call Mastodon. Brontosaurus. I'm Trisorcetops. You guys be the veggie dinos, Jack and I said. I'm a carnivore, T-Rex. I can already hear those kids running for mommy. Outside the old shed, several white pumpkins voted to be ghosts. Nah, they're too friendly, other Jacks argued. Finally, Jack Rabbit suggested a mime. They're even creepier than mummies. By nightfall, the white pumpkin heads had formed a teetering, towering zombie mime. Hey, hey, what about us? A chorus of turnips poked out of the soil. Can we be in the contest? Rows of radishes and rutabagas, parsnips and leeks all echoed, yeah. No way, the pumpkin heads all answered. This is our holiday. Honestly, Jackpot laughed. How on earth could you, you little tubers and roots, reign over jack o -ween? Meanwhile, at the miniature pumpkins meeting, the Jacks worried that no one would notice them, let alone find them spooky. But then those small pumpkin heads found some big ideas. We'll be cannonballs. No, icky eyeballs. Finally, itty bitty Stonewall Jackson said, let's be bees, a swarm of killer bees. On the hay wagon, Odd green pumpkin heads carefully balanced on one another, imitating Frankenstein's creature. Other jacks fashioned a wavy Loch Ness monster with slithery, seaweed tangled humps. Ooh, we're sickening, Jacques Cousteau beamed. Halloween night, the pumpkin heads resembled the entire neighborhood's nightmares, all assembled at the garden gate. So, Gargantuan spiders from outer space, Jackpot reviewed the contestants. Nice, a skeleton, blood, thirsty bat heads, ooh, and a slithering gooey blob of jacks. The slime, perfect. I believe we're ready to roll, Jackpot announced. Trailing slippery pumpkin guts and seeds, the slime heaved onto the fir first porch the jacks encountered. The kids just snickered and tossed them lollipops. Hmm, 
They weren't even a little scared, admitted Jack and Rhonda as they slid down toward the sidewalk. Nice try, Jackpot offered. Maybe that house has especially brave kids? Next, killer bees swarmed trick-or-treaters at a street corner. Everybody buzz, whispered little jackal. Hey, do you guys have any bubble gum? The tooth fairy asked. I'll trade you for anything in my bag. But, but we're killer bees, buzzed Cracker Jack. We're deadly, a gorilla replied. And if you want licorice, I hate it. One by one, Frankenstein's monster, the skeleton, the zombie mime, all the jacks tried to spook the trick-or-treaters, but the kids just giggled. No one seemed even slightly frightened. And now it was time for the kids to head home and the pumpkin heads to return to the patch. Jacks, well, we did our best, said Jackpot. Next year, with more time, we... Just then, a shrieking crowd charged down the street, spilling candy, losing wigs, stumbling over capes and monster feet. They're after us, a Spider-Man shrieked. Disgusting, a mermaid screamed. They're gross. Keep away. Mommy, help. Jackpot shouted. What's going on? What's frightened them? It's, it's the vegetables. The Jacks chorused, dressed in nothing but their leafy tops. The left-behind garden veggies shuffled down the empty street. The pumpkin heads all groaned. Okay, Jackpot reluctantly admitted. You win. You plain veggies scared the kids more than us dressed up pumpkin heads. You can reign over jack o -ween. You mean bean o -ween, the crowd of vegetables cheered. Turning toward their patch, Jackpot grumbled, Those veggies, they, they hijacked our, our holiday. <laughs> and that's the end of the story. Here's how to carve your own scaredy cat pumpkin in the back of the book. I hope you enjoyed the story. If you did, like the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.